Hey guys, let's talk about this Dell laptop. This is an Inspiron 153530. I got this from Amazon. It's pretty affordable, less than 300 bucks. If you want a laptop like this, just keep watching because this is a basic review, right? So this one is good for web browsing, Zoom calls, office apps, and things like this. It's not for gamers. It's not for uh, editing videos. It can do light editing, but it's not uh, that good. It's not a premium laptop, okay? So let me just show you the device itself, and later I'm going to talk more about the performance and also uh, the apps that you can use here. Let me just close it up. And here you see, there is the Dell laptop, and it's a plastic case, okay? So basic plastic is not premium comparing to the other Dell's uh, laptop. Here on the side, you see here is a connector for an HDMI cable, a connector for the power supply, USB-A and USB-C. So here you can connect an external monitor, and here you cannot use an external monitor, all right? All right? So just be aware of that. If you want to use external monitor, it's just one. Or you can use like a docking station or display link, and you can have more than one if you want to. But at first, directly here, just one monitor. And here you see a slot for an SD card, USB-A, and headphones connector, okay? Here's the button, you see here, there's the vent part here, and sometimes it just feel it uh, a little bit hot when you're using it, it start like uh, running the fan, but it works pretty fine, okay? This one is a laptop with uh, 15.5 inches, full display, and the maximum resolution is 1920 by 1080. And here, as you can see, the bezel is fairly slim, so it's pretty good. And it's a carbon black finish, right? And here, I was talking about the keyboard, right? You see here that you have a basic keyboard, pretty basic. And here you have an, uh, keep keypad with numbers, and this button here can just bring the calculator and use just as you're using the calculator. So it's pretty good. I like this part, right? If you do a lot of calculation here, you can use this keypad. So here you see there is no button for the mouse, so you just need to click here and here for uh, left and right mouse, right? I prefer to use this mouse that I have here. I'm using this Bluetooth mouse, it works pretty fine. You see here the calculator, let me just close it, it down and talk more about the performance on this device, right? I was saying that I can connect, you can connect here an HDMI cable. Let me just do this. So you see that I have an HDMI port here and I connect the cable and you see that I can use an external monitor, it just pops up there. I can mirror the monitor or I can extend the monitor if I want to was testing this one with this benchmark software. You see here that I have 14%. That's a uh, uh, comparison with other laptops tested on the database, right? So uh, to make it easier to understand, I put here on chat DPT to make this simple to understand, right? But basically here, it means it's faster than only 14% of all system tested, right? So this benchmark, benchmark software has a database and this laptop is just 14% faster than all of the system tests, right? But it's pretty good, it's below average, but it's pretty good yet for the basic tasks I was saying before, right? You see here more information about the processor below the average, but acceptable for basic tasks and poor performance for simple graphic tasks, let's say 2D graphics and 3D graphics, which means it's not good for gaming and it's not good for engineering software as well. The uh, RAM memory is, is just half eight gigabytes, so it's not that much. You could have more memory here or you can install more memory. You can just buy with more memory or install more, more memory later. And it's good with the SSD. You see here that strongest, strongest part because it's pretty fast, an SSD device here. And you see here what is 
what this means for you. It's good for web browsing, off the work, watching videos. In fact, I was watching some YouTube videos here and it plays pretty good, right? You can just uh, watch the videos. There is no latency, works pretty fine with any YouTube videos. And it's not good for gaming, not good for video editing. Here, I mean, not good for like uh, advanced video editing. For basic video editing, it works pretty fine. I was testing here with CapCut, as you can see. It works pretty fine. Let me just uh, move here, see, it works pretty smooth. And if I play here and you see there is no latency, works pretty fine. I'm editing here a video with a 1920 by 1080, basically full weight to the video. It's not 4K. So just uh, be aware if you're trying to edit 4K video, it's not gonna work that well for this laptop, okay? But it works pretty good with CapCut, basic stuff. You can also use Premiere, DaVinci Resolve with basic stuff is going to work pretty fine, right? And I was testing as well with softwares like uh, Microsoft Office. You see here that I have PowerPoint working. And if I can have a, a work with the presentation, for example, with more than one monitor, I can just come here and work like this. You see that I have the presentation in the second monitor. Works pretty fine. Okay, for offset tasks, it's pretty good. Let me just uh, show you that it also works here with Word. Pretty good as well was testing this, no problem editing uh, text here, doing some presentations, and also with Excel. You can do whatever you want with Excel and works pretty fine, okay? So super, super good for basic stuff, works pretty great. And I was trying to use a second monitor here with this port, I was saying here that I have this connector, this adapter to the monitor, and I connect here to this port, USB-C port, and doesn't work because this one doesn't have the alt mode port. Laptops with alt mode are going to work uh, when you connect here. So if you want to use more than one monitor, you need to use here a docking station with the uh, Display Link Manager software that's going to work. Otherwise, it's not going to work, right? I was just comparing here to a Dell Latitude. Let me just show here quickly how it works. So basically, with a different laptop, a premium laptop, you see like this one. This one is 25% uh, percent comparing to this one that's 14% comparing to other devices in the database. This one is three years old, but it's a premium laptop, it's a Dell Latitude. This is a pretty new one, brand new. It's 14% on the benchmark. So, because it's affordable, this one is more expensive, right? So if I use a cable here, for example, for the second monitor, it's going to work. And another one here, you see that I have more than one monitor working for this device. There we go. But that's for the Dell Latitude with the alt mode port, okay? This one doesn't have the alt mode port. And you see the sizes here comparing as well. You see 15 inch comparing to 14 inch. See, you have more real estate here. It's pretty good. I like this one, right? I don't like that much uh, to have like small monitor like this one. I prefer a bigger monitor like this one and 15 inch is pretty good, right? Also have here the camera. So you can just um, make video calls and things like this and works pretty fine, okay? So basically that's the Dell laptop, okay? So if you like this one, can get on Amazon, I highly recommend it. And if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, give your thumbs up, and I see you in the next one.